family you welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you've been enjoying this mini series on my like what should i say cta journey rather than accounting journey but anyway uh i hope that you share this video with someone who is studying cta or who's struggling through cta maybe you can motivate them i don't know but anyway, um, I know that the videos might seem like they're all over the place. It's because I have a lot to say about it. And I don't know how to summarize. <laughs> how to summarize my experience. I'll try by all means to make sure that they are structured in a sense. But sometimes you find that I do plan on what I am going to say and all of that. And something as I'm talking, I just remember, you know. So I don't know. But anyway, I still hope it helps someone. I don't know. Excuse me. So anyway, I said I failed. And now I had to make a decision whether I'm going to study at tax or I'm going to go to UNISA. Because remember I said I had applied at UNISA as a backup. So um, what I did, I started collecting data. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge like i don't know i'm um I, I i i don't know if there's a word for it but i'm a type of person who likes collecting evidence and then based on the evidence conclude as to like my decision i don't make a decision as in like without proper evidence you know maybe that's the reason why i started accounting because technically that's what i do for work but anyway um Number one, I consulted with someone who had failed and went to UNISA. And then I consulted with someone who went back to tax to repeat. I asked someone who didn't do it at tax completely, did it with UNISA. And then also my friends, what they are deciding. So um, I'm just going to touch on the person who was at tax and then went to UNISA. So this lady, we actually from uh, the same high school. We went to the same high school. Uh, she was a year ahead of me and she did her first attempt CTA when I was in third year. So unfortunately she didn't make it. So she decided to go with UNISA the following year. So I asked her, I'm like, why didn't you go back to tax? And she was like, you know what? It's not even about tax. It's about the fact that with accounting, there are no guarantees. You can repeat something. There's no guarantee that you're going to pass. So I decided that at least, even if I don't make it uh, with, with this thing, I don't make it um, just at a brain fog. Uh, even if I don't make it, at least I'm advancing in another area in terms of my career. So... That's what she said, and I was like, you know what, she's right. And now the other thing I was thinking was the fact that if I repeat and I'm doing my articles, I'm still on par with my peers. So we're gonna qualify around the same time. And like repeating it full time, which means I'm just a year behind, you know. So I I decided that I'm gonna do my cta part-time me okay? and I, it will be a different video on finances like as a student but i had saved money um enough money to uh get like not get as in buy it but deposit for rent like my deposit for rent and rent for the first month um and a few appliances and all of that so uh Fast forward to January, uh, Jen, I I went to UNISA, I registered. But prior to registering, I had drawn up a, a schedule, like a study schedule already that in my head, it was perfect at the time. Because number one, I didn't know, I didn't really know the type of work that I'll be doing and the demands thereof. So it was more of, I thought I'd be at home maybe by five, like I was naive, okay, I didn't know about traffic. 
I've been home maybe around five and then I'll push till 10. You know, I had a, a, a picture in my head. So January, I, I was not working. So I pushed studying. Like I was there like, I'm gonna study. So uh, I started working on the 1st of Feb. 2018 so february and a bit of march it wasn't too hectic at work because i was still going through the inductions and all of that so it was it was light i could push as much as i can hence for test one i did really well for everything and then i started the real work now work i'm work i get paid to do yes sir <laughs> I'm kidding but um I started working like proper working and then I had to like revamp my schedule in a sense that um I slept later than I had planned I woke up earlier than I had planned so I'd make sure that latest I wake up is like maybe half past four and then I'll push till like 20 to 6 then prepare for work by quarter to seven i'm out of the house um yeah in terms of the scheduling so what i would do is that i had a plan that mondays so okay let me start here actually you know i said i failed fbs men i get you uh so i had to prioritize it over certain things not ignore the other things because you're still going to get tested on them but i would prioritize more of my manic or finance fbs financial management because i had failed it so it meant i had lack thereof so with that one i would study it like twice a week right so normally mondays mondays wednesdays and sundays i was doing manic so with the other ones, I would do them on the other days. And then Saturday, it was reserved for catching up. So whatever it is that I had planned that I'll do during the week and I wasn't able to do, I would then finish it up on Saturdays. So that was the scheduling. Um, and then when i went to work i would make sure that i packed my books because the first week i saw okay traffic is getting between me and my dream so i would pack my books and then when we knock off i would push maybe until 7 p.m and then go home because there won't be any traffic when i get home i would continue studying and then um the cycle continued so now busy season at work and we have two more tests to write what was then the scheduling i th nothing much changed actually the only difference is that instead of waking up at half past four and start studying at home i would wake up at half past four or four shower and do everything that i need to do go to work so i get to work maybe around 5 a.m half past five and then push until 7 30 or 8 while everyone's still getting to work and then push studying and like work overtime but i we i let me say i we had a cut off in terms of um people who are studying so maybe around nine ish i'll stop working and then push maybe until like 12 a.m and then go back home the cycle continues so the week before the test i want to see okay the week before the test what i would do is that um i asked my cousin my very good cousin who stayed close to where i where my client was if i could sleep over so that week instead of driving home like really late i'd go to his place and the cycle continued and everything else so it was just basically getting a balance so for example because i was yes in a relationship i would make sure that on saturdays i'm catching up but i would reserve time like around to i'd stop studying and spend time with my boyfriend sometimes not every weekend because it was not like i saw him every weekend like i said we don't stay in the same city 
so yeah that's what happened in terms of scheduling and i kept at it so now fast forward to exam time so during exam time what i did was i applied for the tax alumni thing where you get a card and you have library access so i would during the day like from let me say eight nine to like five i was at the library and then from five to 10 i would be at the office i'll study from our office right so then i'll go home the cycle continued just like that and then um i remembered something okay i forgot again so anyway that's how my scheduling was and the most important thing that i did for myself was that i had cutoffs the day before an exam let me start with the day before a test. The day before a test. With UNISA, normally the day before a test is a Sunday. With tax, okay, honors, you write CVs on Monday as well. Uh uh. UNISA, we write on Tuesday. I don't know. I forgot. But anyway, whenever it is, we wrote. The day before, I'd make sure that five, if it's a test at five, I stop studying. What I know, I know. What I don't know, I don't know. Excuse me. And then, uh, with with uh, with the exam, I would make sure that at my cutoff was earlier for exam. I think it was maybe around three. I don't remember. It was around three. And then the other thing is that before I test an exam, I make sure all my clothes are out. I would lay them out, ne. And then I make sure that my bag, because, you know, with accounting, you carry your standards everywhere. That's like your Bible. <laughs> um, I make sure that my bag is packed with my standards, my stationery. I have my financial and my scientific calculator. And yeah, I would make sure that that is done the night before. And if possible, I'd even make sure that the lunch for the next day is ready right so in the morning what i wake up and do is the first thing i did was wake up pray and then uh shower and do whatever that i need to do then drive to the exam venue so that's what i did in terms of preparing myself so on the next video i'll touch on my study tips what i did differently in terms of studying and all of that just to keep all these videos under I, I want to say under 10 minutes, but I can see even with this one, it's over 10 minutes and I'm still talking. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> um, uh, with that being said, family, may love, peace, grace be unto you. Bye. Mwah.